So we have to get used to new technologies and really think of it as helping us, like things that we already have that have helped us. And then moving forward, it's going to be the same thing. Like we're going to be, we have to stay the same. Like we have to stay, um, I'm getting, cause this is happening now. Like this is happening now. It's all slowly infiltrating our world and our society, this new technology and robots are like a real, like the real like human robots are going to be a future reality. So we need to prepare for that and not just think that it's in the movies and really envision like how your life would be different, like what it could do for you, what you would want your robot to do for you. And, um, like embrace technology because that's where our future is headed. Think of like at Christmas time, like people buying their own personal robot and what you would do with it, like how you would, how the world would be like opening their presents Christmas morning and having this huge robot as your new toy and how you would interact with it and play with it and what you would have it do. And if it would be like voice commands or would you have a tablet that would say, you know, clean or cook or um, walk, uh, pick things up and put them away or, um, and just how much of a help that would be to your life. And if you would buy one, would you buy a robot? Would you spend, if a robot was less than a car, the price of a car, would you purchase one for you and your family? Would you purchase it for protection for your household? And then how would it protect your family? What types of things would you want your robot to do? And what would you not want robots to do? Because the world can get really scary when, you know, robots go rogue. So that's the kind of like things that I was getting today about what we need to be thinking about for the future. Cause that's where we're headed like really soon. And so I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that and to get you guys prepared for your future and just kind of like imagine um, like having a personal assistant robot like follow you around with your daily chores and having it do things for you and like helping you at your job. Like imagine a moving company and they just had robots to lift the boxes and bring them up the stairs and carry a couch or a piano or whatever so you don't have to do the heavy lifting. Or there's a company that you can call with robots to help you move and all that. Like, well, of course, that's the same thing. But you don't maybe have to have a robot of that caliber We'll probably, so what I'm probably envisioning is that most of the people that are going to have robots, like the majority of people, like the average citizen, there should be permits on, like, you can't have a robot that can do, like, you know, crazy things. <laughs> like highly intelligent robots and things um with like capacity for like harming anybody like having free thinking um or complicated thought processes like 
you know, there's, there, there's a level to the type of technology and we would be having access to um, just what we needed for like the average citizen without harming anybody else, if that makes sense. So um, I even was, I got a vision, okay, of like having personal assistant robots where they can help you with household chores, like cleaning and cooking maybe. <laughs> Which a lot of it, you have to think about the human aspect of these things. Like really think about it. Like how would you, how would you tell your robot how to cook when that's something that your brain, it's like has a human touch to it. So how would that even be possible? This is just something that, um, the types of things that we need to be thinking about, um, how would you get a robot to do the types of tasks that you would want it to do? How would you program it? How would it be capable of doing that? Um, would there be a tablet where, or how would they, would they read your mind or would you do voice, com certain kinds of voice commands and would it work properly? So, um, those are the types of things that scientists are, or I don't know if there are technical engineers are thinking right now and doing right now. They are preparing and planning and designing and there's, I've seen them in person, like a few years ago in San Diego. And then I've seen episodes of like robots and things. So within the next i'm hearing a next few years like that is going to be a real thing where people are going to be buying their own personal robot and then i was also th envisioning like them being protectors like like almost the family pet like a family dog like for intruders or for um if you're riding in your car and you need like a bodyguard, like, like for instance, like me doing DoorDash, like having a bodyguard robot to help me and defend me against any harm <laughs> that I'm, so I won't be afraid. So I won't like be in danger. And then, um, Carrying big boxes and stuff up and down the stairs. Heavy lifting. Things that humans, they can do it, but it's just strenuous. So it's making our lives easier. And that's kind of like what my thoughts were today. <laughs> because um, I was listening to a podcast and it was talking about that is like a reality within the next few years. So we all need to be thinking positively about technology and the fact that it's going to be help helping us in the future and that um, just be prepared for that Christmas time. <laughs> When everybody, just imagine that everybody's going to be ordering robots, personal assistant robots, because I got that vision, like literally not trying to think about it, but like actually getting like a futuristic vision of that is our reality. Like it could be this Christmas. And then all of a sudden, everybody has robots. Which it's not this Christmas. Thank God. Because <laughs> I don't think we're prepared for it. But think, envision that reality. Where people 
it comes out onto the market like an iPhone, like a smartphone. And then all of a sudden, like everybody had smartphones. Everybody was buying smartphones for Christmas. So I think it's going to happen on a Christmas when everybody gets it. Like next year or the year after. 2024 or 2025. Maybe 2026. And of course it's going to trickle out like the richest people are going to be getting them first maybe. But I'm telling you guys, if you have that opportunity where the technology is at, at a good level where it's going to make sense to make the purchase because your time is invaluable. And you're going to be, with the time that you're going to save, it's worth it because you can put that energy and effort into making money for your business or your work, whatever you do. You need that sleep and that to get, you need to um, see the programming and stuff is like throwing me off because how are you supposed to be programming and if the programming time is too excessive, then you're not going to have free time. If you're gonna spend all your time like programming these things to do things for you, that's not worth it. So it has to be at a level where it's going to benefit your life. And that's not too far off from the future. That's what I'm, that's what I keep getting. So that was the message today, and I don't know why that that's coming through so heavily. Um, but yeah, like prepare for that. Prepare for um, going into restaurants and there being like a robot server and like the different jobs and things that there's going to be robotics robotic people humans hu like human looking robotics um, that that is going to be a part of our reality in the very near future so be prepared for that be prepared every Christmas, because usually it's going to be in Christmas time. There's going to be new technologies coming out, new th things that are happening that are going to blow your mind. And especially with AI that just, you know, That is like just a huge advancement for us and as humanity and to use it in the proper way because we're creating right now we're creating new technologies for the future and if you you need to be using AI we need to be using AI in our businesses and creating things for for the future so make sure that you're really thinking of it in a positive way. Okay, I'm going to go. Peace, love, and light.